I'm Mary Carr. I'm Christopher Robinson. And this is Poetry Fix. Today's poet is a guy named Thomas Tronströmer. He's a Swedish psychologist, and often his poems have these moments of revelation. They're just sort of in these normal landscapes, and then something miraculous happens, right? Street Crossing. Wind hits my eyes, and two or three suns dance in the kaleidoscope of tears as I cross this street I know so well, where the Greenland summer shines from snow pools. The street's massive life swirls around me. It remembers nothing and desires nothing. Far under the traffic, deep in earth, the unborn forest waits still for a thousand years. It seems to me that the street can see me. Its eyesight is so poor, the sun itself is a gray ball of yarn in a black space. But for a second, I am lit. It sees me. Hmm. And he does this repeatedly, I think, this, this psychological moment that we all have sometimes where you can just feel yourself as a part of this great mechanism that is all of existence. Right, the planet and yeah. everybody on and it's, it. It's not just the city, it's also this this forest a thousand, a thousand years underneath the, the earth, you know? Yeah, I like, how, yeah I, I like how he doesn't discriminate between right. this sort of urban landscape and, the, and nature. They're both mm -hmm. sort of fully integrated and alive in this. The other poem of his I really like is Face to Face, about the arrival of spring. In February, living stood still. The birds flew unwillingly, and the soul chafed against the landscape as a boat chafes against the pier it lies moored to. The trees stood with their backs turned toward me. The deep snow was measured with dead straws. The footprints grew old out on the crust. Under a tarpaulin, language pined. One day something came to the window. Work was dropped. I looked up. The colors flared. Everything turned round. The earth and I sprang towards each other. It's, it's really difficult to talk about Cranstromer poems, I think, because they don't yield to analysis the way many other poems do. Yeah, they're not, they're not sort of straight, linear, logical, but they somehow, as a piece, they... Well, he's a, I feel like he's a, a psychological surgeon. He, you know, he directs, he takes his scalpel and he sort of goes into your head and then directs your, your consciousness to this moment where you feel, really feel that the earth and I sprang the earth and I sprang towards each other. But, you, but he, you're not sure how you've arrived there because you have these sort of vague statements like everything turned round. <laughs> right. And out of context is almost meaningless. It may, yeah, yeah, means nothing. But then in the context of the poem, I love that. The soul chafed against the landscape as a boat chafes against the pier it lies moored to. So sort of like you can't, almost can't be in the world in February. Yeah. Living stood hmm. still. The birds can hardly, you know, get excited to fly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Existence was forcing them to continue flying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. So Trans Thomas yeah. Tronstromer from this terrific book edited by Robert Haas. I'm Mary Carr. I'm Christopher Robinson. And this is Poetry Fix.